Do you know how I want to spend the rest of my life? All of it? Sitting on the ground at his feet, just looking up into his eyes, listening to him talk. You don't know how he can talk. He knows everything. Everything there is to know about the world. And he tells you such things. Things you've always known in your heart to be true, but you didn't know exactly how to say them yet. Even when he isn't talking, or he's talking in some language you don't understand, it is wonderful. His voice. I don't know how to explain it, but it is his voice. A voice that seems as if it has been talking to you ever since the day you were born. You don't hear it with your ears, but with your whole body, it's... It's like the air, which you see, breathe, and taste, which smells so sweetly in the garden under the tree of paradise. Mother, the first day he said to me, Teresa. You see, what a simple thing it was. My name, Teresa. Well... It was as if no one had ever called me that before, as if I'd never heard the name. And after he was gone, I ran up and down the street saying to myself, Teresa, 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 under my breath, as, as if I didn't know what I was doing, as if I had walked on air. You mustn't be angry with me, mother. Look at me. It isn't wrong. Loving him. He is so good. So good. And good, it cannot pass. One day he told me, I love you because you know how to pray. Don't you see? And another, I feel a devotion to you as if some holy thing. He, devotion to me. And whenever I think of that, it, it seems as if I am growing better. As if all at once I was capable of everything there was to do or suffer in the world. As to always have him feel that way. Thank you.